What is up everyone? This is the Mad Review. I wanted to bring you guys some new Cody tutorials. I know that Cody's been going through a lot of changes over the course of the last couple years and I wanted to show you guys the actual wizards that seem to work and if you guys are looking for a device that can run these that's relatively from cheap mid-range to high-end I have left Amazon links down in the bottom of this video description so expand that click those that does help me out on my channel this helps you out leave a thumbs up on the video leave a comment down in the section below and if you've not subscribed be sure to subscribe to my channel I do appreciate it now let's get this started today we're going to be installing the Merlin wizard now first we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the gear icon we're going to go to the file manager we're going to go to add source now in the add source area, of course I'm using a mouse, I'm not using a keyboard, and it is on an Android box. So keep that in mind. First we're going to put in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash M W I Z dot U K forward slash repo. Now once you put this in you can name it whatever you like in the next area. So I'm going to just leave it repo. You can change it to Merlin if you'd like. But for sake of time, I'm just going to leave it that way. We're going to go back one screen. Go back another screen. Now this time we're going to go to add-ons area. We're going to go to the little box up here in the corner. We're going to install from zip file. Now for security reasons, installation of add-ons from unknown sources is disabled. So we're going to click settings. We're going to go to the unknown sources area. And we're going to unselect the unknown sources. Add-ons will be given access to personal data. Blah, blah, blah. By agreeing, you say yes. Go back a screen and click install from zip file. Now, we, let, we named ours repo. We just defaulted. So we're going to click repository Merlin zip. Now what we're waiting on is we're waiting for a notification to pop up here that Merlin has been downloaded successfully. And there we, we are presented with the Merlin repository. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the install from repository area. You're going to select the Merlin repository. Go to the program add-ons area. You don't want to do the Merlin data backup. You want to do the Merlin wizard. Now you'll be presented with this screen and you're going to click the install button and you'll see that it's trying to download and that has installed now you're going to be seeing the Merlin wizard screen it's going to welcome you can launch or dismiss you never see the welcome screen again thank you for choosing Merlin click launch wizard it's going to run an animation in the background Okay, now once the animation is done, it's going to take it just a moment. That depends on your internet connection and your device. What you're going to want to do is here there's a lot of things that might help you, especially in like the toolbox, like you can clear your cache and so on and so forth here with this Merlin build. You can go into the App Store and install APKs, go to the community. It's, it's the same thing. These are community builds. Um, but first we're going to go to the Merlin builds. And you're going to select your version of whatever you would like to install. Usually there's a preview. It depends on the internet speeds. Um, you can see the preview over on the right hand side of the screen. And what we're going to install today is I'm going to install the Krypton Full Fat. And I'm going to click Install. Now for accessible installation, be sure you've cleared your data first, which always makes sure... That you have wiped or downloaded and reinstalled Cody and not kept any of the files. Do you wish to continue? Say continue. Now you'll be presented of course with the download screen. Now this is kind of fickle and at different times of the day or night sometimes this will crash and you may have to do it a couple of times. That was an issue I was having as of last night. I'm doing this in the early a.m. hours in the United States so it seems like it's running better, but this could take you several tries before it successfully downloads. So we'll let that download, and we'll be right back once it is completed. Okay, guys, we're at 
three seconds. We are near completion of the Merlin Wizard installation. You're going to see that it's finally installing. And what we're going to do is just allow it to completely extract and install all of the add-ons. Okay, now we're presented with the Merlin Wizard installation complete screen. It says, please press OK to reboot or force close. What this basically means is you need to exit Cody. And once we exit, we'll be right back. Now, we just fired up Cody after doing the Aries Wizard installation. And this is going to do a lot of updates in the background. And I always recommend to once it pops up, let it set for about 5 to 10 minutes. Let it fully download all of the updates for this application. And once it does that, then you can proceed to go through and use this wizard however you want. All right, guys. Once your update screen, your skin screen actually does its update, what I recommend you to do is to scroll over to where you can see your add-ons area. This is with any repository, always try to do this. Go over into your system add-ons. And once you're in the add-ons area, go to available updates. Okay, and update all of these updates that are available to you. It could take a little while for these to download and fully update for you. And once those are done, then your wizard is totally up to date. You may get a few errors with some of them, but you can check back from time to time and see if they do any updates on those for you and just keep going back and checking the download area. So we'll let those download. Okay, we're back guys. The updates are completed. Now we're gonna go through and see what all the Project Merlin wizard has to offer us. This is one of my favorite wizards. It's always been one of my favorite go-tos. Now if you go over to the right, this is the all-in-one add-ons. This is All Eyes on Me, Bob's Unleashed. We'll take a quick look at All Eyes on Me really fast and we'll see what's going on in there for you guys. This is where you can do your searches where you can do what's in theaters now. We're gonna click on that. Now, it depends on your device as far as how fast a lot of these load up. It depends on your internet connection and sometimes these things are built to the gills. Now this one here is loaded pretty well. Uh, you can see all of these movies that are currently showing. I cannot click on any of them for you to let you know how well they play. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna check a look at some different ones. These are, all the all-in-one add-ons that has some pretty good content in them. Be sure to check those out. You got the documentaries. You got family. Now, the family area, of course, is going to be where you would want to go if you have small kids and you want to keep it in the audience of small children or family-oriented content. Um, and we're going to move on. We're going to go into lifestyle. Now, this is going to be faith. This is going to be fitness. There's a lot of selections here. You've got some live TV shortcuts here. Uh, this is going to give you a lot of your live content. Uh, we're going to click on channels. See what kind of live TV channels this actually has to offer someone who is into cord cutting and no longer wants to have to pay for those cable subscriptions. You can see here that a lot of these are links. And I know that you got to be careful uh, with the system that you have. And hopefully it's able to run all of this newer stuff. Um, we're going to go back, and I'm going to keep showing you what all we have in this. You have a movie selection, and this is just some of the shortcuts that lead you straight into the movies up on top. You can scroll through the movies, and you can see if there's a movie in here that you would like to see. Um, hopefully, there's something in here that you enjoy, a music area. If you love music, you got your sports area. It's like You like soccer, you like football, whatever, and... Then here we go. We're going to look at your stand-up comedy area, these selections. And then this is back to your system. This is your basic care and so on and so forth and tools area. Here's where if you want to search by a TV, certain TV shows that you'd like to search for right here is where you would do it. You got back to your Project Merlin screen. Guys, I hope that this video is very informative to you, and I hope that this works really well for you. Like I said, if your system is slow and it's not being responsive on any of these, always try to reboot the device. 
come back in, let it do its updates. And if it still has a problem, be sure to check in the lower description of this video for updated versions because there's some of these that's actually between 30 to $40 that's really cheap that is super fast and has a lot of speed that will not take all this buffering like these older devices that a lot of people are trying to use a lot of people are having problems with them be sure to check that out in the bottom of the video description below if you can afford the bid to higher range of course do that because those will last you longer uh, you won't suffer out from any kind of issues from internet connection drops buffering i've had all kinds of devices and i've seen it all so be sure to check that out. Leave a thumbs up on this video. Share it on Facebook. Share it with your friends. And hopefully this helps someone. Stay tuned for more wizard tutorials. I'm going to bring them to you as they come. There's a lot of these wizards now that they're getting knocked down. I just wanted to be sure to let you guys know this is one that seems to be working perfectly great for me. So guys, this has been the Mad Review. Till next time, guys. You guys take care, and I'll catch you in my next video.